Jeremy McGraws uh, says that we were deprived of, uh, of our civil rights. We had no civil rights, not, no. Uh, since it was September and the schools were closed in May and reopened usually in September, this time the schools were not reopened, so we couldn't get any school to go to schools. We were ordered to turn over all our valuables. We were not allowed to have to own any uh, uh, properties. We were not allowed to uh, own any business. We were uh, uh, not allowed to walk on the sidewalk. We had to walk in the middle of the street. When approaching a German in uniform, we had to take our cap or head off and then if you didn't do this, you could have been sever severely punished. We were ordered, there was a ghetto uh, established. Um, a ghetto meant a section of the city was uh, closed up where all the people from the city, the Jewish people, had to move in and live there. You were not allowed to leave the ghetto or you could only leave it only with a permit from the German authorities. And the only uh, time you got a permit if you worked for the German authorities. We were ordered to wear, as you probably have uh, seen, as a matter of fact, I prepared and I forgot to bring it, uh, the yellow star, the star of David. I'm sure, uh, does, did anybody see the uh, star of David? Please raise your hand if you who knows what it is. Thank you, looks like everybody. This we were ordered to wear a yellow star in front of our clothes and one in the back so we could be recognized. Uh, food was rationed. Uh, you got just so much food per person and only those received the ration card that were, uh, like I said, registered to work for the Germans. In, um, in the beginning, um, that's, uh, that's still what, what life was going on. It was getting worse, it was getting less food. Uh, uh, there was more inappropriate things taking place. For instance, the Germans, although we didn't know them, but the Germans had already in their minds the idea, the plan, what to do for the future with the Jewish people. And so they started to liquidate the smaller towns and ghettos and bring the people in concentrating in larger areas. When it comes to the time when they will carry out their plan, which was later on the final solution of the Jewish question, that they will have the people concentrated in a certain in a certain area. And so now a family like ours that had two rooms for seven people were were ordered to take in another family from the nearby town, also of probably of the same size. So now we have to give up one room to them. I know it's a little difficult to, to imagine, so that now we have, say, between 10 and 14, 15, depending on the large of the other family, that had to be, we had to take them in, and they were living two families. In the one in the one apartment, so uh, you can imagine uh, number one the accommodations at night for sleeping, but also the accommodations during the day when you have two women in the kitchen trying to cook, one for their family, the other one for the other family, and and um, there was no central heating and there was no uh, electric or gas or oil heat, it was coal and wood. 